So you're working in Fusion and you'd like to remove some features, but not delete them permanently. Hey, Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso, talking about the suppress command in Fusion 360. So I've got this plate and when I start to explore, I click on a feature, it highlights that feature in the tree and or the design history. I'm gonna right click on that and choose suppress features. And what that did was it suppressed the feature that I cared about, but also its children features, those patterns that got you know, completed afterwards. So if we undo that, um, and if I were to select a different one, which is in fact just this one particular pattern, and I hit suppress, it's gonna suppress just that pattern and its child, but it's not suppressing the the you know core the main feature that I you know started the whole thing with and patterned and now if I want to get rid of that feature again suppress it okay so suppressing you can see it grays out in the timeline but it's still available and we can unsuppress and bring it back if we were to introduce a little tab on this model okay so I have a sketch I'm gonna extrude this new body so we've added this tab and now we have a body showing up in the browser and at any time you can turn off visibility here but you i don't know a way to suppress it and rather instead when you select it you can see it is again highlighting the feature that we're talking about and that's what we can suppress along with anything else in the timeline so you can also suppress sketches that you don't need and you might want to reference later or if we're duplicating this part putting it into a new file and we can turn those back on with that unsuppress Thanks for watching this daily tip. I'll see you in the next video.